These days, the sensors and controls industry is anything but a niche market. This type of technology has applications in everything from aerospace to packaging and handling to pharmaceuticals. Finding talent that covers this wide range of expertise is the job of Robert Cohn, the director of the sensors and controls practice at Direct Recruiters. Cohn says that positions in this industry often require technical knowledge combined with relationship skills, always with an eye on the bottom line. The majority of the people I work with have a very technical background. Um, they have a high technical aptitude. They're good salespeople, and they could call on different levels of organizations from going into a plant and talking to the engineer or a plant manager, or at the same time going up to a higher level as a VP of sales, a CEO. So they have to be very driven and know what they're talking about. Technology, however important, isn't the complete picture of a job candidate in this field. Fitting in with the culture of a company is highly important, says Cohn. Well, the culture is huge. Well, this has to be a strong person, a good leader, good motivator, and someone that's going to increase the company's bottom line. Cohn points out that trust is an important aspect of the service he provides. He says that companies need to know the difference between an ideal candidate and the best possible candidate. Recruiting is a process. We can never usually find the perfect candidate that has all the qualifications they're looking for, but we're always going to come pretty close. So the relationships that I build with my clients, they take my word and my advice, and that's why most of my clients that I work with are long-term clients, and mm -hmm. we've worked together for many years. Finding top talent in sensors and controls not only solves a particular staffing need, it can help the bottom line. I do have a number of clients in which they started off as a $20, $25 million company. And since then, over the years, they They've grown to about a 70, 75 million dollar company. And that's something that I take a lot of pride in. I really enjoy watching these companies grow. I've gotten a lot of referrals through the years in these relationships that I built with the people that I placed with uh, my clients. And they're one of the more powerful relationships that I've had throughout my life. Direct Recruiters focuses on matching executive, managerial, and sales candidates to companies in a wide range of industries. Dan Charney is a managing partner at DRI, and he explains that direct recruiters brings a process to the table in working with companies to find the right candidates and keep them. We want to have several conversations, understanding who you are, what your goals are, where you've fallen in the past. We want to put together a process and a plan with you that makes most sense based on your goals. But in today's tough job market, do companies of any size really need a recruiter? Shel Meyerhoff, the president and founder of Direct Recruiters, explains that finding a lot of candidates may not be a good strategy for finding the best candidates. We look at working through Monster and hiring candidates through ads that are easy to get is the low-hanging fruit. We like to go to the top of the tree. Our customers don't have time to interview eight or ten candidates for a position. We identify the pain of the people we're talking to. We, too, look for people. David Peterson is a managing partner at DRI, and he knows firsthand the challenges of finding top talent in a crowded job market. As a partner in my firm, when we search for people, we use the traditional job boards, social media networks as well. And we find we have to go through 500 resumes to find three to interview. So if the right candidate isn't on a job board, where are they exactly? Dan Charney says that they may be happy happily or even unhappily employed. Then maybe they're not looking. Maybe the A candidate out there is currently employed. Their resume is not on the street. The value that we bring is we can help you activate that candidate. But why is it important to look for candidates that aren't looking themselves? Because no matter what the case is, every company still has top performers at the top of their game bringing in business. These are the individuals that will come into your organization and be a top performer for you as well. Keeping and retaining top talent is a core service that DRI provides its clients. So how does Meyerhoff keep his own staff happy? The atmosphere at DRI is relaxed but focused, with professionals constantly working the phones. But it's not uncommon to see a football being tossed between cubicles. We like to make the process fun. We know it's serious business. We know it's hard work. We know it can be a lot of tension, but we can add a lot of fun and make the work interesting. And fun is an integral part of the personal nature of the recruiting business. We play industrial psychologist. We play marriage counselor. It's one of the most emotional things you can do in life. We understand it's emotional, not only for the candidates, but for our clients too. We're putting people together. We're matching people. You can learn more about Direct Recruiters at directrecruiters.com. I'm James Krause for DRI.